Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships Conquer the Skies Episode 1. This is going to be a brand new series on airships, something I've featured many, many times on the channel before. I've already done a series on it, but I thought it was about time we jump back on it because, well, version 6.0 is out, so we can now look at all of the nice shiny graphics and... Uh, try some of the new parts. So, let's just jump straight in and we're going to go to new game. If you haven't seen this game before, then I recommend you check out my preview video. It's basically an airship combat game. You build airships and fight with airships and it's fantastic. So, new game and we will go for a large map because that's what we want to do and we need to uh, name our, I guess, name our faction, our main sort of home system, town, thingy? Yeah, I don't know what you would call it. I guess it would be our... Our nation, so we'll call it, um, gener Genericans, the Genericans, there we go, or Generican, we're going to go for the Generican, allow a new, new font and everything. Right, we need to edit our coat of arms, so we'll go for random arms and we'll just see what it comes up with. Uh, nothing that is good, okay, edit arms, so we'll make our coat of arms, uh, we'll go for a very simple one. Uh, I think we'll go for, as I don't know what we're going to build, this is a construction series after all, so I'll be taking your comments, your suggestions, and that sort of thing. I want to make something very universal, so things like plus 25 income from cities is good because it means I can just build more things, and I will go for a black. I think we'll go for a... Oh, we need it the other way around. That. Is it that? Mm, yeah, we'll go, for, we'll go for that. Okay, I think that's our nice coat of arms. Yeah, skills for the generic faction. Start game. Yes, um, every episode of the series, what we'll be doing is building a ship. So every episode, we will actually design a new ship. We don't have to necessarily build one from scratch. You might edit one, but the plan for every episode is to build a ship and then obviously use that to fight. So this is our new main map. And as you can see, we've got all of the different nations everywhere. I am smack bang in the center, which is not a good thing because we could be attacked. Now... I've, uh, I'm not too sure how this will go. I might be attacked and destroyed in the first game. It could, you know, anything could happen. But honestly, even if that happens, I'm just going to restart and keep playing because I've just got a, I don't know, I've just got a, a want to play this game. As you can see, there's like other stuff in the background. You get like little notes and stuff. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a little table. There's a coffee stain there. Right, so this is what we have so far. We have, um... One little ship there, the uh, the Renfield, and our, our home city is here. Uh, Secret Police is currently lax. You can change that up on the Empire details. Basically, that will um, it doesn't actually alter your 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 income a lot. You can see it's oh, for a severe um, a severe sort of Secret Police or severe security. It's only minus three, so and none is zero. Balance issue, maybe? Don't know if I don't know if having it on non alax does changes anything else. Doesn't seem to change the money you get, so who knows? Anyway, uh, because there's no like approval for people, so who knows? Right. So we're gonna build a ship. Let's get on with that. So we'll go to create ship, and we will actually. I don't know why that popped up as a steam thing. So you can see this. All this has changed. We now got this blueprint thing. I really like the look of it. So what sort of ship do you want to build? Well, as I haven't got any of your comments and suggestions yet, I'm gonna have to make it up. So I think we will go for something new. We'll go for. We've got some nice dorsal turrets. Look at that. Ooh, that actually points down. I don't think it means to point down. I think it means to point up. But look at that. You can have ships that do that. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? That looks pretty swish. Uh, what else can we go for? Ooh, a bomber. I think it's going to have to be done, is it? We're going to have to make a bomber. Let's make a bomber. So, if we make, say... Should we make a really high-level bomber? So you can go really high up in the sky and drop down on people from a great, great height. I think that's what we're going to do. So, we can't really have too many bombs. So, one, two, three. Uh, let's make it... Six. Let's have it six like that, okay? And obviously we need to make this very, very light, but we do need some structural corridors. So, as you can see, they've changed... Well, it's, it's been changed so that uh, you now have these uh, tabs and stuff, and you can actually open them up and expand and contract them. So you can actually... You know, you don't need to have a bigger list. It's just... Every, th this version is definitely the best version I've played by a long chalk. It looks a bit better once you jump into the game with the dynamic lighting en enabled, and if you see fights at night, it looks amazing, right? But... Uh, Obviously, still style. I still very um, sort of low key, but it looks it really looked great. But uh, yeah, it's um, 
just just all of this, the polish on the UI is, uh, you, well, you can see how effective it is immediately. So, there's our structural uh, center that obviously will go up and down, so we can walk up and down. Now, what I want to do is have a... Well, obviously, we'll have to go for some resources, so we'll need to go for a... Probably an ammo store. Either side, because we're going to go for a lot of bombing. Or do we need that much? How much ammo does it carry? Ammo storage 50. How much does a small ammo store carry? 12. And how much do these take? These bomb bays. You can right click on them, delete them, and then replace. Uh, reload time 5 seconds. Clip size 3 rounds. So, I think two, yeah, two of them stores would... Uh, would be, would be required, really. Uh, then we need to fit on some... I guess the main thing is suspendium chambers. We need to keep this thing in the air, don't we? And also putting the ammo fairly low down is, in a, is a disadvantage. Although the plan is so we're up so high we can't get attacked as easy, so... I think we'll be okay. We'll make it light as possible. I was going to do some more things, but no. Light as possible. Right. We need a machine shop to repair. Oh, great, good grief, maybe not that. But let's actually have a machine shop. There we go. There's a machine shop to repair things. We need a fire point because I have a feeling we are going to be on fire at some point. Uh, I guess... Placing it there would do the job. And then we need some more corridors. We'll put a corridor there. And then we will have our crew quarters. Obviously, we need some sort of crew quarters here. So we'll go to... Our, I don't need troops. I think we do need some quarters, though. Do that, and that will... Ah, we can't get to that one. We're going to have to build another sort of central piece. So we'll do... Mm, now we're going to do this. We'll do that. And then... See, all we're doing is making a block here. I don't like that. What I'll do... Get rid of these. I want a corridor running the full length. Actually, no, I don't. I want fire doors. I think I want fire doors. Corridor. Move through the ship rapidly. Deck. Move, move through at high speeds. Let's do that. Have a deck goes along there. Two more corridors up like that. Right, okay. That's good. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's fine. Now we can put in our ammo store. Like that. Okay. That seems to work. And then we can have... Well, we'll need a coal store. So I think we're going to have, we'll have to have one on either side again. Because I'm going to put a lot of suspendium chambers in this. Suspendium is the stuff that uh, obviously keeps you in the air. Uh, we'll make that go up like so. And then we will... What shall we do? I think... Put a supply hatch either side. Because you do need supply hatches. If you're building ships yourself and wondering like, Oh, what do I need? Look on the top left. That tells you what it does. And that will basically what you need and what you have. Right. So there's the main block part. Now I want to have a... We don't have a fire point. We'll have a fire point there. Do you want a fire point there? Let's have a fire point. I'm trying to work it out. One, two, three, four. I think that's a bit too long. Probably fire point further back. I do want the suspendium in first. Let's put a fire point in there and we'll put the suspendium chambers in. We need to get a ceiling of at least 300, I think. 300 would be quite good. Let's go for lift and the suspendium chamber. One, two. Oh, we're nowhere near that yet, so let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll put in suspendium chamber. One, two. Service ceiling, 400 meters. That works. However, it's obviously not 400 meters because... <laughs> as soon as we add all the other stuff, it's going to drop down. But that's a good start. Right. Back up to our uh, corridors. We'll go up. Like that. And then... You know what? 
I think if we wanted to, we could probably put, say, a little bit more corridor up here. And then we'll put a cockpit on it. We don't need anything other than a cockpit. That'll allow us to uh, move around. Oh, get rid of that bit. Where do we want to put the cockpit, though? Put it at the end there. So we could do a... The difference between a bridge and a cockpit. If you don't have either, you can't issue orders. Or you can issue some orders, I think. Can you issue orders? Oh, no, you can't give orders at all. Uh, but if you have a bridge, you can issue orders more frequently. I don't think we'll have to be uh, issuing orders very frequently on this one, so we should only really need that. Uh, right. No crew, no propulsion. Obviously, that's a slight problem there. So, crew. We want to go to quarters. One, two, three, four. Recommended crew, 28. We've got 36. I'll put that there because I want to put a fire point in. Fire point, fire point, fire point will be in... Resources? Structural? Basic. <laughs> there should be a default up, yeah, there's like a random part. There we go. Uh, so, main crew 18, recommended crew 30, air sailors we've got is 36. We're getting close to about where we need to be here. So, we need a little bit of an engine, so we will put an engine, small propeller, because we don't need to be very fast, we just need to be very high, there we go, yep, that works, get rid of that piece, we don't need that, and then finally, I think we'll go for a corridor, like that, okay, that seems to work, uh, we, obviously it's too expensive for us to build, now what is our service ceiling, uh, service ceiling, uh, 219 meters. It's not that high, actually. We could put another couple of suspendium chambers in, but instead I'm going to go for suspendium dust tanks. So these just allow you to, uh, well, they just they just hold you up. They're just uh, quite good at that. Why is the service ceiling no higher? They're not providing a lot of lift. These things. What if I put a suspendium chamber in? Yeah, that really increases it. Do you want to put another suspendium chamber in? I could put a small suspendium chamber in there. But then there's no access along that centerpiece, so I don't like that. Small suspendium chamber. If I get rid of that, and that fire point, I could have another suspendium chamber. It's not ideal, though. It's not ideal. Uh, we'll put our fire point back in. You always need a bit of fire point. There. And then corridor. Right. And what else are we missing? There's something I'm missing. Repair bay. We haven't got a repair bay. And we're a bit short on crew. We'll put the repair bay there. We will put a another crew in. Actually, we'll put another propeller in. And then we'll put in our quarters. And then we'll connect it up. Like so. Okay. That's about right. I think we're about there. Anything else we need? According to this, no. That should be alright. I'm going to get rid of that. Because I want to hide the cockpit uh, away from uh, the people that are going to be shooting me. So we'll go for a cockpit there. I think that's about right. It's a bit bricky, but uh, that should do it quite nicely. So, let us rename this thing. So, rename. And we'll go for... Uh, GAR, which uh, stands for Generic... Uh, oh, GS, generic air ship, so gas. <laughs> generic air, GAV, GAV, generic air vessel. <laughs> I like GAV. GAV, we'll go for GAV. Um, GAV bomber. It's a GAV bomber. Okay, there we go. Generic air vessel bomber. 
that will do us quite nicely and save design. So we will save the design as Gav Bomber and save. We've got way, 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 way too Biggington. We got a little bit too Biggington. We are the Assaultington. Remember the Assaultingtons from the previous series? Oh, they're all in here. Right. So we will save that and we can leave. Okay. So we can wait and we'll get a little bit of money. So. Obviously, we've only got uh, 300 or 400 now. It's going up by plus 37 a tick. And as you can see, the opponent's got fleets around there. I think that's a pug that's in there. <laughs> it's a bit of a pug that's in the middle of the water. This is water there. There's little uh, monsters and stuff. Right. So how much is this thing going to cost? Build ship. Uh, the Gav Bomber is 1,400. <laughs> but it is only a bomber, though. So we have a bit of a problem when it comes to uh, everything else on our fleet. What we're going to do... I'm going to build ship and we're going to build the HMS Swarmington. These are the pretty much one-shot ships that only cost 225. Really, really cheap ships that we actually built a lot in uh, previous series. And they, they really did work. They worked fantastically well. So we will just build enough. We'll build three, plus the ship I've already got, so that should be fine. And we need to pick who we're going to assault, but obviously there's fleets down here, so I have to be very careful. Oh, there's going to be an assault there. It looks like they have just conquered my neighbour, which is interesting. So, do I have enough to conquer people? I've, I'm only getting a little bit of money at the moment. What if I invade one of these? If I just click invade, am I going to get invaded by someone else? We'll, we'll try it. So, here we go. Ah, it is now at dusk, I believe. Ah yes, dusk. Distracting light from the west means that shots fired from the right to the left are less accurate. So, from the right to the left. I have got an advantage on this one. Excellent. So we can move these things around. This is just one of the ships uh, that we start with. And these are the Swarmingtons. I've just actually put them on reserve. I didn't want to do that. What I'm going to do is actually move them back to there. Put them to about there. And we'll click start. And first thing I'm doing is going to pause them and then tell them to do aimed fire because, as you can see, the UI is massively improved. There we go. You've also got this, um, these other things like floating along, so like little air, little air traders in the background. We've got uh, these trees and such and little birds flying around there. There we go. So, what's that say? They're ready for combat. Excellent. So you target ship that. These can all target the same ship, but obviously they've only got one little crew cabin, so it takes them a while. Oh, they're blattering into there. That's good. By the way, we didn't put any armor on uh, the the uh, the Gav bomber, so you know it might be a bit of a problem later. Let's just move that ship back a little bit. There we go. There's the suspendium rocks that are floating away. There looks like we've set that thing on fire, which is good. Now the one one bad thing about these Swarmingtons, they don't have much uh, much core, but they do have a big cannon. There you go. You can see the dynamic lighting on there. The lighting has made a great difference to it. Oh my good grief! That thing is getting wrecked. Get that out of the way. Just run that away. Run, 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 run. There we go. <clears throat> There's been improvements to uh, navigation as well. Ooh, that was a big cannon that shot there. So it looks like we're firing. What are we firing at? Is that is that being stopped now? I don't think so. Let's uh, say target ship that one. Still target it. Target ship that one. Take that thing out. Oh, we're getting low on ammo now. Oh, that's ground. I've just ground. I've pressed ground ship instead. The um. The ships are a lot smarter when it comes to navigation. They will not just dry. Oh my good grief, that's fire. That's fire. That's a lot of fire. I don't think... Do they have a fire point? They do have a fire point. They're just uh, taking their sweet, sweet time to get on it. Uh, there we go. That's been put out. That is pretty much taken out, yes. So I'll move that and I'll move it over there. We just, we just run it away. Uh, man down. Out of control, it says. You know what? Defeat. We did actually get defeated only because we ran out of ammo so we'll move back to our main city so that's uh proven that there's nothing much we can really do there is that thing has that thing been uh fixed i'm guessing it has looks like it's okay so you can see the swarmingtons do work but uh we need a little extra a little extra so i think what we'll do we will build the gav bomber oh we're getting invaded okay let's stop let's build ships uh, we'll go for the Gav Bomber, we're building that, but we are going to get uh, assaulted by these guys here. So let's see what they have. They have, oh my good grief, two fairly big ships, but I do have, as you can see, uh, some nice defences, which we're going to move right to the back here. There we go, and I'll cover that. We'll move all these other vessels around the back, like so. I think I can put it behind the suspendium, but I think you can still fire through it. Not that I like that, you understand. I prefer if you uh, wouldn't be able to... Can you fire through the suspendium blocks? 
I don't know if you can. Yeah, it looks like you can. I, I would like... It would be better if the suspension box actually blocked your line of sight. I think it would be a bit better, wouldn't it? There's a floating dragon in the background, I think. Or it's some sort of weird creature. Either way, we are lighting up that ship there. And it's dropped. It's think I think I've just taken out its suspendium. Or either way, it just dropped to the ground. You can see it's not doing too well. It's not doing too well at all. We have fairly big cannons on this defensive structure here. The uh, watchful turret. And that thing's on fire again. Uh, that one can't fire because of the uh, where it is. That one has now been defeated, so it's just this ship left. Uh, looks like my ship's been defeated as well. I can re reserve it and I'll uh, put it back into real, put it into reserve, and then we can activate it if we want to. Um, you would think, I reckon maybe a bit of a delay on that it would be required, to be honest with you. Oh, there's the actual help how you do things. And I think I've just taken that ship out. Uh, well, actually, no, I haven't taken that ship out. Uh, oh, now I have. Yeah, there we go. So, I have managed to defeat both of their fairly large ships. However, that one there, uh, that one is uh, getting wrecked. We'll click OK on that one, and they are now running away. Uh -huh. But, they were actually taken over by someone else as well. Nice. Uh, well, let's have a quick look here. Them ships are OK. I just need to uh, look at my defences for a second. Are they still intact? That's my ship getting built. They are, yeah, as you can see, that there. We'll need to refit it. Um, do we want to refit it? Or do you want to scrap it? I'll scrap it. No, I won't scrap it for 65 gold. It's still okay. Until I can replace it, I'm not going to scrap anything. But yeah, I really do like the additions in there. In this version now. And um, I think I might even start trying online play. Oh, looks like they're assaulting me again. Ah, low fog as well. So, fog. Uh, fog uh, units inside fog banks are harder to hit. So, if they're down there... Then uh, they're harder to hit, but that's a problem for me because... Well, actually, I'm going to put them up here so I can snipe into them. Move that one to the bottom. There we go. Actually, do you want to do that? I might as well sit in the fog bank. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Because it's harder to hit, not harder to fire out of. Oh, my good grief. They are um, coming straight towards me with a lot of big ships. That's a lot of big ships, actually. And I haven't got my other one made yet. Good grief. Right. So they're blattering away at... I think my defensive tower, actually. Yes, they are. They're hitting my tower. I've already lost one. Oh! Looks like I hit an ammo store there because the front half of that ship just got taken off. Um, that's been defeated now. That's good. So I can then target ship that one. If we can take out these ships fairly quickly, we should be all right. Target one ship, because that one's defeated. All we need to do, I can't control these because they're, as you can see, not under command, so I can't give them orders. If we can take this one out, that one's out, that one's out. So we've got two ships that are currently out of the battle. If I can take them all out of the battle, even though they might be still be intact, like obviously that one's moving around and such, even though they're still intact, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If they're taken out, then uh, we don't need to worry about it. But some things are still shooting there. I'm going to have to change these to, uh, well, they are actually on aimed fire. But they're still... Yeah, target that ship. Oh, we got a lot of fire down there. I don't think this is going so well. Oh, we've got another one that's bowed out. Let's just quickly say... Target ship that one. Target ship that one. Target ship that one. If we can... Oh, that's the wrong one. Damn it. Target ship that. So three of their ships. Oh, victory. We only just managed to take them out. How did we do it? We survived. Look, the both, the, all four of them are out of ammo. We only just managed to survive that. Whew, that was far too close for comfort. Right, I now have a bomber, though. I now have Gav Bomber. That's good. Let's go back to my defenses, and we'll see what we've got. It's, um, it's that thing, and that thing only. We need some more defences. So, I'm going to build some defences, and I want to build, if I go to, uh... Let's have a look. Design building, no. Design ship, no. Build ship. Build building. We want a black tower. Do you want a black tower, or do you want a silent... We want a silent watchtower. They're really good, but that's a thousand. I'm going to get it, though. I think I'll wait for the silent watchtower. Obviously, that'll give me a, a nice defensive platform for... Any if anyone's coming towards me, then good luck, because there's massive cannons on the thing. 
So, it's already changed, the map's already changed quite a bit. Uh, the guy at the top here, I don't know what they were called, but these uh, red and white guys with the ship's wheel, they've got three. This guy down the bottom, who's attacked me twice now, has actually got four spaces. Right, so, this could be problematic. What I'm doing is I'm I'm probably turtling it too much, looks like they're coming to attack me again. I There we go, and it's in rain as well, rain with lightning, okay. So... I can now move my bomber up the top. That service ceiling is actually higher than that, but this is just my setup. So I'm going to go and put the other stuff down the back here. Like that. And then the bomber will fly up. So we're going to press... As soon as that starts, so we'll start it. I'm going to click on this one and then move it. Where's our service ceiling? Um, don't say it's all this way. It can't be. Uh, I think the service ceiling is... Higher than the map. <laughs> but we can go up. And we'll start dropping bombs. There go some bombs. You can see the bombs. There they go. Look. Whee! Boom. And the start. Yep. Yeah, there we go. The bomb is working very nicely. That is working fantastically well. Right. Let's just keep hovering over their ships. As you can see, the suspendium is keeping us up. That one's already uh, been taken out. I just need to move the bomber. Uh, I think about... Actually, I'll move it back over my own place, actually, because it's. Th I need to take that thing out. There's all the bombs coming in. Look at that. Oh, that's working fantastically well. Sadly, a lot of my ships are not working that well. There's my bombs coming in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's the bombs hitting on the side there. Oh, taking big chunks with them as well. Sweet. That bomber works. Sadly, I think we might be a little bit too high because obviously accuracy and such. We'll keep lowering it down a bit. Oh, there's some nice hits. Nice hits. Very nice hits. Right. That little ship's still there. That's okay. One thing we can just keep moving this bomber. Uh, we'll move to there. Now, stuff will automatically stop if it's going to crash into something now. That's why there's a ram button. Oh, it's actually landed on top of me. That's fine. Looks like all three or three of them have been taken out. We're going to move the bomber further forward. Victory. They've run out of ammo. So again, we've defeated them. Whew, it's still a tough fight, this one. That's still fairly tough. We still need some money for that watchtower, that silent watchtower. Or the, was it the black tower? Uh, build defences. Uh, defences. Want to go to a build, sh build building. Black tower. No. Silent watchtower. There it is. And we're going to build a silent watchtower over... Actually, I'll put it there for now, but I can move it. So we'll leave that. That's getting built, and as soon as that's built, we will then go attacking. But I'm glad to see that the bomber does work, and the service ceiling might be a little bit too high for uh, for our needs, to be honest with you. So we might edit that. Uh, we're obviously not getting al almost. We're getting no money now at all, pretty much. I thought that guy was invading me, but since he's going over there, I'm going to invade him and use my bomber to take out his uh, his defensive structures, which happens only to be one. So I'm going to move that this other one back to there. In fact, I'll just reserve it. I might as well reserve them all, because that thing won't be able to fire up, I don't think. We will press... We'll close our reserves. We'll press start, and we'll move that bomber up to about there. Go. It's going to fly up. That thing, obviously, is the, oh, they've just got little rifles, which won't really do a lot. And then... We'll go for a rapid fire approach. All gunners, rapid fire! And you can see all the bombs getting flung from the bottom there. There, all the bombs go. <whistles> Boom! Close, close. Yeah, this is. We're not really doing accurate bombing there, are we? Let's reduce it down. We'll reduce it down a little bit. <laughs> that tree's invulnerable. Look at that. The trees are taking bombs and uh, nothing's happening. Good grief. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, that was lightning. I think it probably hit my ship. It did. It hit my ship. Good grief. Right, the bombs are coming in. Oh, that's taking a bit of the structure out. There we go, there's the bombs working well. And that's uh, one guy just got bombed. Get bombed. Right. That's working okay. We're putting the fire out. Suspendium chamber. Suspendium chamber's changed, actually. You've got this big crystal thing now. It does look a lot better. Still stylized, but it does look a lot better without the dynamic lighting. Yeah. We're taking this structure out. It's taking a while. You know what? I think we'll go for aimed fire. <laughs> we're still getting hit by we're still getting hit by lightning, which is not good. Uh, oh, that that took that out. I'm not a big fan of you being able to shoot through these rocks. Uh, I think this is the suspendium stuff. They're very good for 
you know, maneuvering the block maneuverability. Uh, but I think they should also block line of sight. That would add a re that would add a. a I, th I don't know. I just think that would add a lot more to it. Not being able to shoot through these things. Anyway, we have managed to defeat them. Victory. So we'll go for a gentle takeover, and then I think we'll return back to our homeland because we don't know what that fleet's going to do. And I think we will leave it there. So, first episode of the new series of airships. Glad I brought it back and uh, hope you like what you've seen so far. Next episode, we'll build another ship. What sort of thing do you want to see? I've shown you a couple of them dorsal weapons. Got all sorts of cannons. Now, each different area here, you can actually... Uh, if you take it over, it might give you a different bonus. You don't know what it is, but it might be, say, you get a flame cannon or a long-range suspendium cannon, all sorts of stuff. So it'll depend... What we build depends on sort of what we capture. But for the most part... Oh, as you can see, look, heavy cannon we got from there. So if we actually go to construct... Weapon. Heavy cannon. There's a heavy cannon. What's the dorsal cannon look like? Looks all right. Put it there for now. Let's have a quick look at the statistics. We'll check between them. So, get rid of that. Don't want to remove my jaw. Let's have a quick look. Uh, doo -doo -doo, weapons. So, dorsal turret. Uh, piercing damage 70. Reload time 5. Uh, fire arc 180 degrees. So, it's very good at that. However, the heavy cannon. Piercing damage 100. So, yeah. it um, It hits them pretty hard. But, you see, there's all the weapons there. What ship do you want to build, though? We haven't done any assaulting. We've got troops. We've got ramming. We've got a ramming pro. We can make a ramming ship. There's all sorts of things we can do. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care yourself. And generic partings.